What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Am I Ask Me Anything. So in this episode, we are going to go straight into the call with somebody who has asked for, asked a lot of questions actually within this text. Um, so let me just hit the, the call button. Uh, <clears throat> the name's Ronya. So I wonder which country we're calling now. <clears throat> it's that nervous part again, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, is this Ronya? Yes, it is. Hello. <laughs> it's Eric. Uh, is this Eric? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Uh, trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, first of all, Ronya, it's Ronya, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, first of all, welcome to the Ask Me Anything show. Um, and... Basically how it happens, very straightforward. We just have a conversation. You got the next, what, five to 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever, how long, however long we go. Ask whatever questions you like, and then we'll just, basically you take the floor away. <laughs> okay, so I came across your videos around a really low point in time. I just out of a relationship. It, it, I was in that place of pain and why and all of these things. And I, I, tried to let go, I've tried to let the law of attraction work for me, I'm, I'm doing all these things, and then whilst I'm in that let go, they contact me, and I responded, and now they, they contacted me saying they had a, a, a question, and now I'm, I go, okay, what's the question, and nothing, and I'm like struggling, because now I'm like, I've put all this work in for the last two plus weeks to get to a place where... I can be at peace and let go of it and not think negative thoughts and it's like all these negative things are coming back in my head. This is regards to a relationship, yes? What do you advise? Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it's a past relationship, not gone so well, decided to uh, part ways. However, the energies are keep pulling you back and then you're kind of trying to get out of it and you're wondering how. Is, is this correct? Well, I'm trying to go through the whole, yeah, because they said they wanted out of it yeah. and I accepted it and now I'm like I don't know what to do because like, okay. I don't care about this person yeah, it's a it's a very common um, situation it happens to a lot of people and we need to, I mean I already know the answer <laughs> then the answer is probably not what most people want to do but um, the reality is we gotta we gotta cut the rope we got to cut the ties. We got to be a lot more brutal. And I did that. I wasn't contacting you, them or anything. You but you you were, you weren't you, you 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 weren't enough though. You didn't do enough. It's as simple as that. Because you know, it's like this. Um cutting off is like that because not only you find it hard to let go, the other person will always find it hard to let go, especially when it's been in some sort of relationship, emotions are involved, everything, mind, everything, past memories, everything's involved. So we've got a lot of attachment to so much, so so many things in a in a physical way and in a in a, on a spirit on a energetic way, you know. And so the way to actually do it is you have to be brutal. If you think of it this way, if you really didn't want anyone to contact you, you know what to do. Um, you know, you know the things. I would like it if me and this person could get back together, but in a healthy way, not in the way things were. But I think you, me, both know that that's not the thing that's going to happen right now. Right. Now, I don't know your situation and how dare I say something like that if I don't even know your situation, who that other person is or what the situation actually is. But you make a decision to come to this point. Let's, right, let, let's put it this way, right? Two people, right? When, when, they, when they are in love, they have such you know there, there's something beautiful about that in itself and there's been time spent there's been energy put in right this is for 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 two people to actually need to come to a point where they say you know what this is it we have to finish it it you have been through a lot for that to happen it's not just one little small situation and so that's why without you even telling me what's happened i already know that hey there's there's a lot behind this and so if there is so much behind this and if something could have been worked out, it would have been worked out already. 
that's the reality. And, 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 and another thing as well is like this, right? We, you know, you know, love, love is a very interesting thing. People look at love, I mean, as beautiful as love is, and as much as, you know, if, if, if I wanted to win the crowd right now, I would tell everybody that, you know, love is always the answer, and everyone go out there, love. But the reality is this, right? Love for the majority of people, whether we like to hear this or not, is a very selfish act. Because if you think of it this way, we love somebody else because we want the thing that that other person gives us. If that person didn't give you anything well, that... That... Was the problem. that was the problem, though. The problem in our relationship was that they never gave enough. And they would say but, that but, they your, like but, your word, but your word there was they never gave enough. Meaning they, all, they of still... An effort, of an effort. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but they still gave you something. And that something was enough to keep you addicted to it and wanting to actually keep mm -hmm. the relationship. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so what I'm saying is the thing of you saying right now that you love this person or anybody for that matter, say that we love another person so much that, you know, we really want this person in our life. In actual fact, if we really think about it, right? What is the next level of love? What is the next level of what some people may even argue to say, hey, the unconditional love? I mean, if we love somebody, think about it very logically like this. If we love somebody, shouldn't it be so true that we want the best for that person? Absolutely. Like if we love somebody, so if we love somebody, and I do want the best for them. okay, so if we love somebody, do we love somebody enough to not allow them to go through pain? Do we love them enough to want really the best for them? Even if the best for them means that it's not with us, are we big enough to think in that way? Because the thing is I this. Do. I think in that way. I just need to know how I cope when I'm thinking that way. Like I do want what's best for them. Yep. Yep. I accepted all of that. It's that just that's that's the, that's very that's very that's very big from you not not many people not many people can think the way you're thinking so that's really really cool now what is the solution to that it's a very simple principle it's the principle of life as a whole new order meaning new life can only be found through chaos chaos to order this is science energy works in that way we are energy we work in that way and so what that means is this. It means that if we can be strong enough to cut the cord, and what does cut the cord mean? Cut the cord doesn't mean, um, hey, by the way, um, let's not call each other anymore, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> we will call each other. It's cutting the cord is literally like, okay, boom, delete, block, off, change number, change address even. I don't know how extreme you need to be for, for, this, for this particular situation, but it's literally well, cutting the cord. Yeah, it's, so it's literally cutting the cord to no way of communication. Best friend messages you and say, hey, he just wants to speak to you. You say to best friend, you say, if you're my best friend, right, never speak about this person again. Otherwise, I'm going to need to block you as well. Because if you really care for me, this is what I really need to do. And then what will happen is our mind will be like, oh, but we don't want them to need to go through that. And why should we be so harsh? Why should we be? But we need to understand one thing. Nature is our best indication to how everything is. There are no storms that last forever. We need to understand that pain is temporary and it will always be the case because we've all been through heartbreak before. We've all been through pain before, but which pain lasted our lifetime? None of it did because what happens is once the old energies and we actually genuinely allow it to clear, naturally what will happen is the new things will enter in because you free up the space for new things to enter into your life and his life okay. it's not it's not what you want to hear it's not what i would like to hear either but it's the truth is for the truth it's that's how things work you know well as i said like for me it was if there was a way to make it better i would want to do that if it's not the case then i want them to be happy but i also want to be able to like come through this because i feel like i've been doing all this work on myself got you and as i said like i was i was going yeah i was going really good for like two weeks and then i get like these two text messages going i i have a i have just one question for you and i like 
try to not answer for like four for, for days and then I finally gave in and I said okay what's the question and then nothing after that like they don't reply to me after that so it's like why say you have a question and then not answer? like what is this because they wanted to know that you still care because when they know that you still care they feel better that's the reality it's the same thing when you sp when you send a text message you sp send a smiley face to another person if you don't receive a smiley face back there's something missing there what are we looking for we're looking for a smiley face back when you say i love you to somebody they they don't respond we feel empty there's no such thing as an action without a reaction it's very simple so they're not going to respond now so i should just go back to just not Maybe, maybe, maybe that, maybe that, maybe that was enough for them. Maybe that was enough for them just to feel good enough. Maybe it was enough for them just to feel like, oh, at least this person actually cares, and I and I know. Maybe that was enough for them to to to, to make them feel at peace, you know. What should, what you should? I'm not I'm not here to tell you you should leave the relationship, and I want you to understand that because there is there is both ways will work. I'm not saying it's impossible. But based on what you've shared so far, it sounds like you've tried to work it out. And it sounds like it's not even you've tried once. It doesn't sound like you've tried twice. It sounds like you've tried multiple times to make it work between you. And so if that's the case, the reality of that change that will happen within him or you and the alignment between the both of you to be perfect going forward is highly, highly unlikely. I'm not saying it's impossible. It is. If two people are willing to go through all the shit and keep going through it, then you will probably get there. But what I'm saying is, it sounds like, from what you're sharing, that you've already been there. Mm -hmm. And he's already been there. And maybe sometimes, if we can actually really think the bigger us, are we big enough to really say, okay... I love this person so much, I'm going to set this person free now. And how do I set it? I need to cut the cord. As painful as it is, I'm going to cut the cord. Okay. If you didn't reply to that message, trust me one thing, the second message would have came in. It's looking for a response. That's all. So doesn't that mean that there is still hope then if they're looking for that response? It means they still also have an attachment to you. So what it means is you can both, if you decide right now, you say, okay, you know what? I see that you have attachment to me. I have attachment to you. Okay, you know what? Let's stay attached. We've got some differences. We've been going through some pain and some like arguments and different things and we are not totally aligned but you know what we're just gonna go through this chaos because we love the company of this chaos you know so <laughs> we, th that still can be an option obviously i think deep down inside you know the answer and it's not easy um but when you do it what will happen is time will pass by, energies will flow, old energies will go, new energies will come in. By the time you know it, you're living a whole new life and you're thinking, wow, why was I even wasting my time doing or thinking that way, you know, before? Yeah. Okay. You already know the answer. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Thank you for I'm being... I'm going to keep watching your videos and hopefully Thank you. they'll get me through. <laughs> Not hopefully, you'll definitely get through. You just need to okay, pick up thanks. pick up the courage. Well, I've enrolled in your class for tomorrow, so I'm in that, the master class. Amazing, amazing. And like I said, I've been, I've been doing all this work on myself. I was trying to, like, you know, and then that text just came to throw everything off. You get focused on your new life. Don't attach yourself to old energies. That's the only way you can live a whole new life. Thank you. Thanks so much for being on the show. You're amazing. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, bye. Bye. Some people going through some challenges in life. Very common challenges. Nothing, nothing different, nothing extreme. These are daily things that happen, you know, and it's just happening out there right now. And it takes courage. It really does. To live a positive life, it takes courage.
But there's no complaining about it. We can't complain that things are happening to us. Nothing happens to us. We have full control. You know, if we want new order, we need to be brutal enough to cut that cord for the old energies. And the only thing that's holding on to you, for, for you to hold on to old energies, is attachment. And attachment comes from ego. That's all it is. It's ownership. This is mine. The moment we can let that go, we free up the space to allow new things to enter into our life. As simple as that. But again, it's your choice. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you got anything out of this show, uh, you learned anything, or maybe you just reaffirm some things for your life and your decisions you need to make, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. It's always nice to know. And maybe let us know your viewpoints and your experiences as well. That's nice to know too. And finally, oh, before I get into it, I just want to say this. If any of you want to be featured on this AMA show, or maybe you have questions. I get like thousands of questions come in every single day from you guys. And I can't possibly answer them all. And people say, is this actually really your number, Eric? Is this Eric I'm speaking to? Or is it a machine? Or is it, or is it the team? It's me, right? Except I can't reply all of you. I would love to prove to you all that I'm real. But, you know, it's only so much I can do. But what I'll tell you is this. Those of you who want to call from me, who have a burning question, all you do with the, when you text message, send me a text message and just say, Eric, next AMA show, please call me. Then what I'll do, next AMA show, I'll just pick out the next three, five people and I'll call from there. And maybe next time it will be you I'm speaking to. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next year because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, signing out. Thank you.